This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. So, hello guys, welcome back to another video of our channel. And in this video, we'll be taking a look on JLS, the Swiss Army Knife Automation Tool for Web Pen Testing. And we'll be taking a look on how to use it, what are the differences between JLS and Nuclear, what are the similarities and what is the output differences in both of them. So, let's take a look on the video. But before going to the video, we are having announcements here. We are having Android or APK Bug Bounty course here. As you guys were asking for it from a long time. So yes, here is the batch 1 of it. There will be 2 instructors and a lot of contents. A lot of things that you will take a look on. Including live hunting, the system setups and many more. So you guys can take a look on all the contents mentioned here. And also with this we are having the advanced bug bounty batch 5 on the way to be launched it will be launched around next week not sure right now but definitely you guys can take a look on all the contents here. And let's go in the video. Alright so here we are on our computer screen now. So let's take a look that till now we are using Nuclei, this one by Project Discovery and absolutely I can say this is an amazing tool but one more thing I need to mention that is don't rely on automation, you can use it for your repetitive works. So there is one more thing that we have to take a look on which was JLS which is also on GitHub. It is a Swiss Army knife for automated web application testing. So, technically, this is also the same tool as Nuclei in few things, but not in a complete manner. So, it's a powerful, flexible, and extensively framework in Go for building your own web application scanner. And as it says, that building your own web application scanner. So as we know that Nuclei uses the Nuclei templates. On the same hand, JLS uses signatures. Both of them are in YAML, almost looking like same. But there are few functional differences. The operational timing differences, right? And I don't know about them too much. So we'll be trying to explore them on this video. So the installation is pretty much same. Nuclei is good. You know, for now, let's close it just the JLS things so I have this tool completely installed in my devices right so there's the basic you know usage menu of it scan you can just name multiple things of it you can use a scan for scanning it and all these commands not a big deal hyphen C right all these things their own are uh, denotions for it so if I just type JLS hyphen H so I get all these things Right now, I need to know what everything means, right? So, scan list of URLs based on selected signatures. <coughs> API servers. Configurations. Generate HTML report based on scanned output. So, these are the things that it can do and technically few of them are very unique compared to Nuclear. Anyway. Cores. Oh, all these things, you know. But we are going to use a very basic thing which is hyphen s for signatures as it is going to use signature instead of templates so technically the usage is very simple you just type hyphen h good there is the whole help menu that can help you easily right scan server config you need just take a look on all these things so and you can even mention your url it's simple as that you can simply use hyphen u just take a look on it Right, if you're having a single URL, just type in you. So let's test this. Let me just type JLS hyphen U. Sorry, scan hyphen U. Um, we are going to use the test PHP. This one, the test PHP uh, test PHP one web.com. 
we are going to use this one for sure definitely why not hyphen s so how will i specify my signatures i have to find where i have the signatures so my signatures are on the location which is terminal and then jls signatures these are my signature location let's wait for it to finish so this is how the output looks like in jls and also in nuclear so look nuclear is taking more time than this but yeah it's having its own a uh, separate benefits for it but sometimes jls will take more time than nuclear so let's analyze the output what we are having here <coughs> Here I'm having some result at this location, and as we have seen that we can also get a output from it. So if you guys just take a look here on this JLS page, we can do multiple things on it. But for now, this is our output, right? We are going to take a look on it. So currently we are on this location. So let me open the exact location here. Folder so and here so here we are having this particular file which contains all the data that we should take a look on and I guess that's good so in our specific output we have provided a whole URL not a endpoint to test both of them are different thing now as I said it can make a report so if I just type on jlers hyphen h you guys can see there is a header named report so what it will do let's see jls report so there is a report on this location so i know what is this location and here is our jls.html i'm just going to open it with safari and this is what it looks like confidence risk this is our url signature names and all details right all these things not a big details out there so in this particular case i have provided a whole url but we will try one more scenario in which i will not provide a url i will even provide a specific endpoint so if i just go to this again just type something here and then copy the whole query i can copy the whole query or i can just go with the categories folder right but i'm going with the queries only so for now if i replace the whole url with this let's see what result we will get so here if we take a closer look then our nuclei is done here and also we are having our jailers here so both of them are good right uh this is our output for the specific endpoint testing it says we can do sql injections on it we can try for multiple things even we can generate report for it <coughs> But now, that's not all, right? Uh, because we're testing it on just a quick basis to find the differences and similarities. But on the same end, there's a lot of differences that we have to take a look on. In my cases, I have used this for multiple things in the last few weeks. And definitely, it has given me good results. But if we compare it from Nuclei, Nuclei is way more efficient and simple. And it is uh, compared with Jailers. But I will say both of them are good at their own place. JLS is good in what it is doing, its functioning, its way, its its way of creating a report, presenting, and all these things. But Nuclear is also good in its own base, right? It is working good on its own, on its own templates. It's the or I will say availability that we have on the templates. Every new CV will get a template on these days. I guess both of them are good on their own. And for me, what I will use, so if I'm talking about what I will use between Nuclei and JLS, definitely I will go with Nuclei. But it depends on case. If there is some case, I would like to use JLS. So yeah, it depends, but definitely my answer would be Nuclei for every case. It's more efficient in my opinions. So. That was for the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the links in the description and see you guys in the upcoming video.